two speed tests. One thousand feet rate and one time eight hundred. Uh, I measured the intensity of the beam as good as I could, uh, setting it to this height of aluminum block so I could repeatedly set the appropriate right uh, height. But I must add, I'm not sure, there should be a way of focusing the beam better with the use of a camera, but at this moment I don't trust my, my cheapest Chinesium glasses. I even taped some stuff off because, I don't know, it just, well, it, it still reaches your eye, which is not good. Uh, and I'm not sure how well these glasses work at all. So what I'm gonna do is not watch at the beam. I'm just gonna engage the laser and run away. <laughs> and hopefully that's enough. I know it is tricky. I ordered some uh, eagle glasses that should be at least quality. Because yes, this is something you don't want to like have a guessing game going on if it works yes or no and then uh, you're blind my eyes are fucked up uh, the way they are at the moment I'm not sure what's going on uh, it, it becomes shittier and shittier last year two years I don't know still have to figure out what it is so that's me ranting now I'm gonna now we're gonna do some fun stuff well let's hope it is fun without burning my eyes out so, safety squints on. Yes. Eighth. Uh, zero, zero, zero. I'm just gonna engage it, not gonna watch towards the laser because I don't trust my glasses. Gonna start it. Hopefully, you got something in the image finder. I don't see anything in the image finder. But it's a blue laser, so that might be the reason. Uh, there we go. Feet rate of 1000. Now we'll go outside. it is done so let's disconnect the power hmm, it does smell in here so let's see Oop. Huh. so this is 800 and this is a thousand You can see, you don't see bare aluminum, because it's quite dirty, that's why etching is getting rather slow. So I might want to try to clean this up, not sure if that works, but we'll see. Let's uh, take it into the kitchen. Yeah, here you can see, there is no stopping it. That's why I started off in the middle, so it doesn't move over to the next coil and screw up the, the previous coil but yeah let's see so I had to uh, start the camera with my nose because uh, gloves so 38 degrees as you can see very dark greenish color etching which means it is quite potent but let's see the laser thingy. Curious how fast it goes, hopefully fast. It's 
Sorry, for starts playing and such. Compared to Fenton, might be because the file is still 13. So I want to repeat it off with 8x instead of the whole 13. Might actually work out, I don't know. Black, try it out, something. I mean, normally it's already gone, I think, with this strategy. I stopped on engineering, but system models. It's not quite clear when it's done, but I actually need a phone brush or something to clean it. Still does anything. I think we're almost there. I see some blue. Not completely. So having used very thin lines is nice, but kind of getting hard to do. So the lines are very thin. It starts to under actually because I do need everything to be gone. So it becomes clear that it's not as it's not as nice as I wish it would be, and I'm not sure why this is. So details are far more crappier than a print. And it could be because I'm over etching it. Or something, I don't know. Use some uh, stinky material to get rid of the acrylic. Some thinner. Really dislike thinner, but this is the only way of getting rid of it. Maybe Vosbenzine, whatever it's called, I forget every time. Might work as well. This works for sure. Oh, the smell is terrible. Yeah, so detail wise. Not the best. I'm gonna dump this outside before I <coughs> suffocate. I did try and clean it as good as I could, but. That's annoying. Thing. So this is the fast lasering, this is the slow lasering, and I'm not so sure which one is better. You can see that the blue parts of this one are bigger, so it burned away more. I'm not sure if this is cool, don't think so. But I don't know, there are just some details that are are lost. Might be because of my cleaning. Might be because of my etchin being too potent, or uh, might be over etching that it was done earlier than I thought it was, but I could hardly see. And I could only make out after the bulk material was gone, too much already etching. And I use actually too far, too often again. But let's see what the resistance is. Anything between five and five and a half would be perfect, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's gonna manage to do that. It might actually be a short somewhere or way higher. 
so this will be uh, 1000 millimeter a minute <laughs> 0 0.2 so there's a short I can see one here for instance and there so that's not good and this one 3 point something so there is a short as well I guess must be yeah so probably at places where it didn't clean off the paint very well yeah so they're both fucked so that's funny they look over edged which they are probably but still it managed to not etch away some places so it shorted out you can call that a, a fail I guess yeah well too bad well I try maybe the type of action maybe I should go back to uh, the normal brownish ferric chloride no what is it I don't know the brownish etching yeah so there are like tiny pieces that are shorted out not sure why that is fuck okay